How to use Mentimeter. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use Mentimeter. So first of all, let me tell you what Mentimeter really is. Mentimeter is basically a software that allows you to make any type of presentations you like, and those presentations are interactive. People can virtually do polls and different votes on your Mentimeter presentation from anywhere they are. All they need to do is just join through a code that you will provide to them for your Mentimeter presentation. Even on their website, you can see it says that it engages your audience and eliminates the awkward silences that there are in presentations. It's easy to build presentations, interactive polls, quizzes, and word clouds, which means more participation and less stress. People usually have this issue. Like people who are presenting always have this awkwardness and stress issue with their audiences. Mentimeter always kills that stress. So let's get straight into it. First of all, we're going to need to sign up and it's totally free. So you're just going to write any type of name. Obviously, you can use your first name. There's no issue in that. And you're going to sign up with your email and then you're going to write any type of password that you want to because it's totally free. I'm going to get straight into it. So it's going to sign me up right there. Now it's going to ask me some questions, which obviously you can fill if you would like. I'm just going to skip because obviously I want to show you how to use this app. Now, as you get started, it's going to give you a few templates for your presentations as there are new semester polls, open house templates, work templates, education templates, any type of other templates. We can do that. But I want to show you how to start your own presentation from scratch. So obviously, let's do that. We're going to start from scratch and it's going to give us a short template in which it's probably going to be a white screen. So there we go. Now, how to start your very own presentation. You're going to first of all, obviously click on new slide. Now, when you click on that, you're going to get a lot of prompts over here. So this is where the fun starts. These are different questions for different presentations. So first of all, I'm going to show you word cloud word cloud is a place where you're going to ask a question. For example, how is your day going entries? We're going to do that to, for example, two people. Now what's going to happen is this code four, four, six, six, five, five, six, two. I'm going to give this code to any audience member or any person I want to use this poll. They're going to go to menti.com and they're going to write in this code. And down here, they're going to comment anything that they want to. For example, if I wrote how their day is going, they're going to write it's going amazingly. And those comments will show up right here on the screen. That is how amazing many meter is. So now I'm going to show you something new. Let's go on new slide. And now we're going to go on multiple choice. Now, obviously, it's the name is very self-explanatory, but what multiple choice does is you're going to write a question, for example, which social platform is best? We're going to write that. And then there are three options. Obviously, you can add options, but I'll just keep two options for now. Let's go with Instagram and let's go with Facebook. Now, as you can see, two polls have been made for voting. And we can also add images. We're going to go on the prompt over there and we're going to go on. We can either upload it from our computer or we can even go to the image library or the GIFs that Mentimeter has provided us with. So let's write Instagram. And there you go. We're going to click on that. And we're going to crop it to our needs. And I think that should be perfect for me. I'm going to go save. And when I do that, look. Uh, what's going to happen? There we go. The picture will come right above our poll. And same we can do for Facebook. We're going to go in image library. We're going to write Facebook. They find these photos from Unsplash. So the pictures are amazing. So we're just going to go click on any one of these. I'm going to click save. And it's going to bring a picture right beside the one on, with Instagram. So you can see how great it looks. Now, I can also change the type of MCQ or multiple choice that I want. So for obviously, these are bars. I can also do donuts. If I do donuts, people are going to go and do their voting. 
And if there are more with Instagram, so obviously this donut is going to be filled with blue more than pink. So you get the point. We can also do pie. For example, if three people do blue and one person does pink, then there's going to be more blue over here and less pink. So there are basically different types of layouts which you can choose for your multiple choice. Now let's even go in more detail. Now obviously, this is the free plan. Uh, which means that we have reached the maximum number of questions. So I will remove some slides and I will show you some more. So I have deleted my slide and now I'm going to go a new slide again to show you more different features that Mentimeter provides us with. There are open-ended things as well. So if we go on open-ended, we're going to write, for example, again which social platform is the best now people can give any type of answers they want for our question for example the question is which social platform is the best now if you do speech bubbles the multiple answers that people give us will come to us like this for example uh, a person will write uh, if there's a question what would you like to say people are going to say I would like to ask the presenter about the first topic or if someone says I think interaction is really fun basically the amount of messages that people give to your presentation they're all going to be here or you can see them one by one you can choose one message then go to the next one or there could be a flowing grid where the messages will scroll slowly upwards which is great in my opinion now, I'm, one thing I forgot to tell you is how to present this. So you're going to go on the slide and then there's going to be a present panel over here. You're just going to click on that and it's just going to present like this. And your audience is going to see this on their screen. So no need to worry on how it's going to look because it will look great. Now we're going to back out and we're going to come back over here. And I'm just going to show you a few more features that are in Mentimeter and uh, then we're going to end the video. So there are different types of themes as well that you can go with. For example, there, uh, the one we're using is Menti Light. Obviously, we can go with Menti Dark and this, as you can see, it darkens your presentation or you can even do this bold and gold. As you can see, it makes your presentation a bit uh, fancy. It makes it a bold and gold as it says. And then if you go on example slides, it gives you examples on what you can do with your slides. And it, it basically, they are templates, but it also has questions and basically the solutions to those questions. So Mentimeter provides you with a lot of things. Now, if we go on the pricings, we can go on see plans and it's going to take us to the different pricings. So obviously it's a totally free program, but in the free program, you can only do two question slides and up to five quiz slides. There's the basic program, the pro program, and the enterprise program. The basic program is, as you can see, $12 per month, but in this, it can export your results to Excel, which in my opinion, isn't very useful as we're going to be making slides. But if we go on the pro, there, it's a $25 per month. And we can even create a team and collaborate with others, which is very useful. For example, if you want to present with a team, for example, a business is presenting their venture, they need to present it with a lot of the members that work with them in the office. They will want to present it with a lot of members that work with them in the office. So obviously, this will be great for them. So lastly, uh, there are also different types of uh, questions you can select, uh, different paragraphs, different headings, different bullets. There are a lot of different features. The ones I showed you were just the basic to get you started with Mentimeter. So I hope my video was helpful to you. Goodbye.